editing Julie popping in really quick. Um, I am going to post this blog anyway because it was a great thing in my life and I made a lot of good memories, but I learned a lesson the hard way about ejecting the disc from my MacBook before I told the MacBook I was going to eject the disc and about half the footage from this entire day's vlog was corrupted or ruined or lost. So I didn't know how to get it back, if there's even a way to get it back. So this vlog is going to be a little bit disjointed. I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to be popping in here and there to let you know what got missed. And I'm sorry, but I didn't want to waste the opportunity to post this blog because it was a good chance to work on my editing skills. They are coming along very, very slowly, but I'm trying. I'm not very good with computers and learning a new skill when it comes to technology is pretty hard for me, but it's a challenge and I'm enjoying it. So bear with me. I'm trying to get better. So let's go along for a half of a day's worth of footage. All right, gonna give this Volta a go today and uh, go to a new coffee shop. Yeah, so happy Saturday morning. We have the media package set up today, so you can probably hear the dishwasher going. It's right we, there. <laughs> we have the mic on, we have the light attached, it's not on, and the Volta. Yep, we are gonna try out a new coffee place. I saw in uh, one of the Facebook groups here in Melbourne, Florida, that the best place to get cold brew is at, is at Wicked. Pineapple. Wicked Pineapple. So we're going to go there and get a cold brew yep. and try out this Volta because I haven't had a chance to and use it yet. And we are in cinematic mode, 5.3K, uh, 30 frames a second uh, linear, so we've got a, a wider frame. And I'm very sleepy. I just worked four <laughs> shifts in a row. It is my first day off all week and I'm really excited for this coffee. So never mind me, I need a little pick me up. Let's, <laughs> Let's go start guys. our day. <laughs> zoom on this, can you? You can do it. Well, I didn't want to film in there because there were a lot of people and I didn't want to make them uncomfortable. But it was a really nice vibe, kind of a surfer vibe. Um, yeah. Some surfboards on the wall, little fins that you put on your surfboard, some kind of surfer decor, palm trees, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so what I got, and I have decided we're going off carnivore for today because I really wanted to try something that wasn't just a basic cold brew. I got the chocolate sea salt. Um, chocolate sea salt, is it caramel? No, yes, chocolate sea salt caramel, but I had them hold the marshmallow. I don't yeah, like there was a toasted marshmallow creamer, and Julie said, hold that. That's extra sugar. I don't we don't like need. marshmallow. Where did uh, you get I got their standard, which we got to meet the owner, and he has his own coffee company, so this is his coffee. And he said that he recommended, if we liked medium roasts, the Fly Guy. And so I got, I guess this was the first drink they developed. I got the Fly Guy. So let's give it a try. Okay. I don't know what kind of milk or whatever. Um, that's really good. Okay. This was the first spot where I started to lose some of the footage. Um, there were probably three or four more clips of us talking about our coffee, and um, it, it actually ended up boiling down to I think we want to try to become coffee reviewers on our channel. So um, I hate that we didn't get this footage here, but maybe we'll start making standalone videos dedicated just to coffee because I am a um, long time coffee lover, but Michael's only recently started drinking coffee and he's a little bit more than me. But usually, actually, I just drink my coffee black, hot, dark, roast black. And at that point, you know, a lot of coffee is kind of similar, I'm not that picky. Um, but when we go out to try a new place, I don't really want to try their dark roast black. You know, I want to see what their flavor is and what kind of cool things they came up with. So my chocolate sea salt was absolutely amazing. Um, I was going to sip on it for the rest of the day, and actually ended up drinking it pretty much before we even got home. I wanted to take it to the pool with me when we got home, but I drank it all because it was so good. And Michael loved his too. I, I drank one so fast, he never got to try it, and I felt bad 
move on the to-do list is to clean out this refrigerator, which we've actually never cleaned out since we moved in. Uh, it's not bad because we definitely do wipe out any spills if we make any, um, but yeah, it's uh, this is the before in case you wanted to see. We're going to clean it out, get anything out of here that's old, expired, or dirty, wipe everything out. That's our big chore for today.
fun out on the river today. Windsurfing. 